Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the method you can use to transfer bin inventory from one bin to another. So the easiest way to accomplish this is either A, going into the inventory item itself and doing a quick search for the product that you want to move. Now, alternatively, we can just simply scan the item and go into this screen right away. So I'm going to go ahead and scan the item, which is going to allow us to view the inventory. And as you can see, we've got our inventory values and we can see exactly where they are on the map. So if we scroll down here, we can just simply view the inventory levels and come over to the transfer icon where we can select that and scan or select our new bin location for the inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the bin location here, which is going to have that bin selected. And then we can enter the quantity that we want to move and initiate the transfer. So as you can see, our inventory has gone down on the V4 bin and been added to our Y4 bin. The next method of transfer that we're gonna use is just by going in and making an ad hoc adjustment. So again, here we could just simply scan the item. Uh, we'll just go ahead and scan the item from the adjustment screen, which is going to bring up the inventory levels. And again, we could just reduce the stock on one and add it to the other. The final method that we're going to explore is by scanning the bin, or you optionally could go and select the bin from your bin locations, at which point we could move the inventory from one bin to another. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan our Y4 bin, and then we're going to move the inventory over to another bin. So we'll view the bin, and as we can see at the bottom, we've got our shaker bottle there. And we could just, again, initiate the transfer using this transfer icon to move it. Let's just go back into our V4 bin. And we'll enter the quantity that we want to transfer and initiate that transfer. So now we've been able to scan the item or scan the bin, find the item, and initiate the transfer of the quantity. Of course, you can also find the item on your product list and initiate the transfer directly from any inventory level or any place that you see the adjust icon. So as you can see, we have our two locations there and you could just simply select adjust, which is gonna take you to the ad hoc adjustment screen where you could reduce the stock from one bin and add it to the other bin. This is a little bit less accurate because you do need to make sure that you're reducing stock and adding it to both the originating and ending final destination of the inventory. So that's just a simple method of moving stock around the warehouse. You also can set up automated bin replenishment so that you do have the system telling you which bins need to be replenished. I'll link to that video in the show notes here as well so that you can initiate that. We also have a guide on this process. So as always, if you haven't already, make sure to get your free SKU Savvy account at skewsavvy.com forward slash register. And we certainly do appreciate your support. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.